Hello and welcome back to Lower Desmond of Winterfell in a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we are now in a war with the Starks uh, against the Dead, the Dreadfort, the Car, uh, Carhold and the Barrowlands, so that's the Risewells, the Boltons and the Carstarks. And it's a war against the tyranny of Lord Paramount Eddard. Let's see how it goes. Oh, also we re-established the Night's Watch. New Lord Commander on the wall. We have Lord Commander Tywald Marbrand on the wall. He's shrewd, a good fighter, a knight. He's a little bit rude, a little bit shy, a little bit envious, but you know what? He He's taking the position, which I think is, uh, you know, probably... It, it's brave given that, uh, well, they just lost it all to the Wildlings not that long ago. Is the Wildling King still alive? He is indeed. Interesting. Okay, he may come back. Right. We'll continue joining in on this war. Sieging's going alright. There's a liberation of Crackclaw Point that's been declared by a revolt. A son was born to Caelan Glover and Sarah Cassell named Osric, my nephew. Nephew Osric, why don't you have... Well, given that his father's a priest, why don't you have a faith education? That makes a lot of sense, really. A representative from the Iron Bank of Bravos is here, reminding me of that loan I took. Oh dear. Well, I do not have the full amount, but I will pay the interest. We now have two loans. It is not going so well. Okay. How are we doing in this, uh, looks like we're doing okay in this, uh, war here. Did a little bit of assaulting. My lord news from Storm's End of a great trial at court. Lord Burton Hasty was imprisoned by Lord Paramount Renly Baratheon, stood accused of sedation and conspiracy against the realm. Lord Alan Estremont presided over the trial, in which the prisoner was ultimately found guilty. As a consequence, Lord Burton was beheaded on the orders of Lord Paramount Renly of the Stormland. Oh, okay. My sister Ara has been overcome with fatigue and troubled by a persistent cough. I now be informed that symptoms are due to pneumonia. Oh. Okay, we need an education focus here for our daughter. Diplomacy seems like the obvious choice here. Uh, do we have any siblings unmarried? I don't think so, given that we had one married off by event. And we're okay. We have a daughter who is unmarried. Okay, we'll need to find her somebody to marry. It's okay. Well, uh, quality of education would you like to purchase for our daughter, Janela? Well, we'll give her more than we should. We'll give her 10. Because we we have to pay off a loan at some point. My acquaintance, Lord Renly Baratheon, tried to have Lord Baron Penrod, Penrose of Parchments arrested, but failed to apprehend him. Lord Baron has now raised his banners in rebellion. Baron raised his banners. That, that, that's, that's an interesting phrase. Everyone knows I am a big fat coward. I strongly reject the notion. But at the same time, everybody at court dislikes me, and then, in general, everybody dislikes me. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Donnell Pete has arrived at our court, a black brother. Interesting. The High Septimus declared an anathema uh, upon your liege, King Robert Baratheon, for his supposed sins, excommunicating him from the faith. Oh, wow. That is a grave situation for him, indeed. Revoke the city of King's Landing from Septon Argilac. Okay. So he was excommunicated and then he immediately uh, took the land from the Septum here. Interesting. We'll see how that goes for Robert. Medium Realm Authority Law. He's changing all sorts of laws now he's been excommunicated. Oh! Did you hear that? That was awful. Lord Paramount Eddard. Your acquaintance, Lord Paramount Eddard of the North, was killed in personal combat in the midst of a battle by Master Eddard of Barrowton. The North is back underneath the Iron Throne. We need to come back underneath the North. Rickon. How can I offer vassalage? Can I not do that? I should automatically jump underneath them. No? This is not great. I kind of assumed I would jump back underneath, but it might be because I changed my title. My lord, I write to you with bad news from King's Course. My efforts to squeeze some extra tax out the population have met with resistance. The peasants are arming themselves. I feel we may have a revolt on our hands here soon. 
It seems Lena, spy master of Lord Gilbert of the Kingswood, sent by uh, sent to Bywall to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe she should be silenced before she finds out about my plot to kill Lady Arya of King's House. Okay. Rickard Stark bought a favor. During the last few days, my sister Danny has been clutching at her stomach and made frequent visits to the privy. I have now been informed she is suffering from dysentery. I'll call for the court physician at once. Oh, fantastic. Wait, we're, yeah, it put us back underneath the north, and now Lord Paramount Rickard has given us uh, Master Hellman of Torrens Square. Interesting. Powerful vassal now of ours. No liege has a discontent council. We can disband now here as well. How does he feel about us now? He very much dislikes us. We're going to have to uh, fix that. He dislikes us mostly because we're a coward. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. How do I ingratiate myself to him? Well, I could change my focus from scholarship. Switch it over to... I guess it has to be carousing. We want to get to know him. Yeah. We'll do that. and We'll now invite our liege to carousing. And see if that will improve his opinion of us a little bit. Okay, important decisions. We can send carousing invites. Sure. We'll send them to... All my subjects. Okay. Um... We have too many titles, we need to give some away, but we'll do that in a second. After being skillfully treated by Ma Maester Rodwell, my kinswoman Danny is feeling much better. Perhaps he isn't deserving of some praise. Well, I am charitable, so here you go. Lady Lena of White Harbour revoked the city of White Harbour from Larinay. Dear liege, of course I'll come feast with you. I'll bring my best appetite for reverie. Harion. And Jonella. And our mother. Oh, it's a rockin' party when it's got a, uh, you know, the skin changer tried to seduce my mother, my mother, and then some random lowborn person. Oh, there we go. Our maester is coming. That's gonna really uh, spice things up. Another random person. Oh, my sister's coming. That's better. Other sister. Spy master. Our brother. Our priest. It's not really sounding like the most exciting party, but anyway. It rankles that my liege, Lord Paramount Rickard II, has the fealty of Priest Yorin, when Winterwood should rightfully be sworn to me. We're so craven, I think we're not going to say, when, you know. I doubt he would agree with, I, would be where I think I'll go with that. Wait, seek an audience with King Robert? Oh no, no, we're not going to go up that far, I doubt he would agree. Uh, okay, White Harbour's revoking things. Denisa died a natural death. Revoke title. To the glorious Lord Desmond's blessing upon you and your house. We have decided to immediately revoke your title as High Lordship of Winterfell. Though you're to hand it over peacefully will lead to war. Wait, let me understand. Does he only want the High Lordship or does he want everything? This is a save opportunity, I feel. I may have made a very bad choice somewhere along the line. I'm going to accept. Okay. We have now lost our High Lordship of Winterfell back, and the balance is restored in the world once again. He doesn't hate me as much anymore. As long as he doesn't say, we have decided to take another title from you. It has come to my attention that the Justicier of White Harbour, Lord Wayne of Ramsgate, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize claim my title he's fabricated for his liege. Lena Manderley said, go ahead and use my, the claim of my title, despite having nothing more than a laughable and obviously fabricated document to back it up. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So basically what happened there is, we went and joined King Robert in the north, at the same time taking the High Lordship of Winterfell with us, and then eventually we were put back underneath the north after we came back and uh, he said, well actually that High Lordship will just be having that back now. So yeah, not so great. Oh, who just died? Lord Will of the Dead Fort died. Oh, he was the person in the Civil War. He was 
beheaded on the orders of Lord Paramount Rickard II. That now means that uh, Lady Sansa of the Dead Fort is the last one. Interesting. Well, last of that particular line, anyway. My guests have arrived for the private feast I've arranged. Oh, great. Lady Lena of White Harbour has declared Lady Lena's claim on Widow's Watch on Lord Eckard of Breckstone Hill. Okay. He is gonorrhea currently. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs, so many intense conversations in such a short time it brings me closer to my companions who feel like good friends already. I'm close friends with Daisy. You know what? We need a wife. That, that's, you know, we're about the same age. Seems like a marriage opportunity to me. She is a little bit lower. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... She would... How weird in the way that that was uh, done there. Range marriage between me and her. Yeah, we lose some prestige for it, but at the same time, we're marrying a friend. Seems about right. Seems about right. To all my subjects, for failing to keep the peace and disobeying an express command to cease hostilities, I hereby name Lady Lena Manderley, a traitor and enemy of the realm, signed Lord Paramount Rickard of House Stark. Lady Lena moves boldly. So she is now imprisoned by her Lord Rickard, who is, uh, clearing up in the north. It seems that Jelaine, the spymaster of Lady Lena of White Harbour, has been sent to White Harbour to investigate rumours of a plot. Maybe she should be silenced before she finds out about my plot. My plot's still going. Does anybody want to join it? Oh yeah, some people would join it if I actually had this button ticked. That makes it much more likely. Oh! He has revoked the Lordship of White Harbour from Lena Manderley. Oh right. Well that's crazy. So he now has White Harbour. Okay. The reveling carousing is over. It's time to get back to real life. I think our carousing with Rickard got cancelled because I did the other carousing. So, is there a duchy here anymore? Or is that just stopped existing? Wait, it's, it's uh, this one, right? White Harbor, it doesn't exist. There is no... Oh, wow. So, all of that is now held by... Uh, well, one bit's held by the north and the rest is all independent now. Was somebody here we wanted to attack? I couldn't remember. I don't think there was anybody there I particularly wanted to attack. That's fine. Right, let's unpause. Master Desmond, a great melee in the northern tradition is to be held in Winterfell. I urge you to come and take part and prove your prowess in battle. Yours, Lord Paramount Rickard Stark. Well, I refused the other one because it was a minor tourney. Well, sorry, it was a minor melee and it was... Uh, you know, that we were, there was no expectation we would turn up. But we had been sent an invitation from our Lord Paramount, who we are trying to get back in his good graces. We will prove our strength. I guess. Ooh. Anyway, um... I do want to carouse, but we can't do that because I am still carousing. Or, well, I've finished carousing. Uh, another year. Okay. Fair enough. He's created the High Lordship of White Harbour once again. Okay, who's he going to give it to? That's the question. Revolt the Castle of Wolf's Den from Sir Torgrin. Melee had finally begun, with all warriors assembling in fighting fields to begin the battle. You hold your own for a while, but eventually forced to yield by another competitor. You're eliminated from the melee, but leaving, uh, leaving the battle battered and bruised. That seems about, uh, you know, par for the course. Knocked out by Will Not. A very strong celibate man. I will honor myself next time. I really like the name Will Not. That's just as a top class name. Okay, laws have been changed. It seems that Master Gawain, 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 I guess, or Barbleton, the uh, spy master of Lord Torrin of Carhold. Since Carl to investigate rumors of a plot. Yeah. Another person has been sent to investigate rumors of a plot. Conditionings are worsening in the Dawn Forest. In our normal winter. Finn and Sir Caelan Cassell sighted each other and engaged in combat. After a fierce duel, Finn prevailed, forcing Sir Caelan to yield. However, everyone was shocked when the yield was rejected and Finn slayed him. 
in what is apparently a dishonorable action. Oh no. Our brother has just been slain. By Finn. Okay. Wow. Our master of arms, Sir Caelan Cassell, has died. Now it falls upon us to decide whether to make the funeral bay in special event or keep it small and private. Well, we're obviously giving him a funeral because he was killed in a dishonorable way. You know what? We're we're just gonna invite the fat we're just gonna invite the Cassell family to this one. Okay, designated regent we now need. Who's it gonna be? Could be our wife, Mistress Stacy. Uh, it could be our daughter Mira. Although she needs to get um, a husband at this point, I believe. Hmm. Who else have we got? It could be our mother. I guess actually our master of arms has to be uh, Harrion. Weirdly, because he's the only person left. He'll train troops over here in King's Course. Um, I guess our mother will be our designated regent. It makes a lot of sense, really. Uh, I want to give her yeah, award title designated region. Right. Okay. You can righteously imprison two people. Sarah Cassell? What's she trying to do? Kill Jonella Cassell? You're trying to kill my daughter. Okay, well that's not happening. And we also have Master Malador who's trying to replace Sir Kaelin and become regent. Well, we're not too worried about that anymore, are we? Sarah Cassell. She's also a known torturer. Okay, well, I'm gonna imprison her. She's locked away in the dungeon, awaiting her fate. You know what? I'm gonna call her for a trial. We'll see how that goes. Right, our other daughter, well, our daughter needs a marriage. Uh, we're not gonna, well, yeah, we're not at Duke level, so we're not gonna choose Lord Paramount of the Vale. Uh, I'll use my own search, thank you very much. So, uh, wait, do I still have the filter? I do. Fantastic. That works. Uh, so we're looking around age 16. Oh, I also need to change it to men. A little bit of a sort. Right. Down at this age. And let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot this song. This bit of music. If you can hear it, that is probably my favorite bit on the soundtrack of this mod. I like it. Anyway, uh, Duncan Woolfield. Um... Oh, sorry. Duncan Woolfield's father is Durin Woolfield's grandfather is Lord Wayne of Ramsgate. Hmm. Seems reasonable. He's a squire currently. Seems very reasonable, actually. Yeah. Duncan Woolfield. Why don't you marry Mira? Seems fantastic. Don't need to look any further than that, really. Okay. And let's hold the trial. Sarah Cassell has demanded trial by combat and summoning her champion to King's Course. Finn and Joffrey Dia sighted each other engaged in combat. The duel was fierce, perhaps too fierce, as Joffrey accidentally died at Finn's hands, his lifeless body removed from the field while Finn seeks a new opponent. That's two down for Finn! My god. He's vicious. Aerith died natural death. Uh, Finn's father. Lord one, Lord Lud Whitehill and Lord Geor Karstark sighted each other engaged in combat. After a fierce duel, Lord Lud prevailed, forcing Lord Jor to um, yield. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lud is amazing at fighting. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. More you know. After many hours of intense battle, only Lord Lud Whitehill and Finn remained in the field. They engaged in fierce duel, which Lord Lud won after forcing F Finn to yield. This leaves Lord Lud to be claimed the winner of the melee. Never thought I'd be happy for a Whitehill to win one of these. The true warrior. Uh, the marriage has been accepted. We now have our son-in-law, Duncan, and uh, our daughter has gone off to the Citadel. By the looks of it. Because that's just where he's hanging out right now. Mira Cassell arrived back in my court. But not with her husband. Very weird. Oh, it's because she's hold we're holding the large feast, I guess. Someone else has uh, spotted the plot. We're not going to spend lavishly. We're going to spend the lowest amount. A forester might find our plot. 
After many hours of intense battle, Lord Paramount Rickard's melee is finally over. The final group provided a fine spectacle for all those present, and many approved of the good fight you provided. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure. We're not going to have a conjurer, because we can't afford it. Here are the people coming to our um, funeral. We have Danny, Daisy, Sarah, Ara, Mira, Daisy, and Beth. We've got, we're very, uh, you know, we've got a large mix of names in here, haven't we? A lot of Aras and two Daisies. Lord Rickard of the North has inherited the castle of Drunken's Tower. Okay, from this guy, because he died of dysentery. The funeral. Three days have gone by since Sir Caelan passed away, and the body was cleaned, prepared for burial, and wrapped in a shroud and laid at the base of the weirwood tree. Kith and close kin of the dead arrived to mourn, each placing offerings for the dead about the body. And so it is done. Sir Caelan Cassell was killed in a melee by Finn on the 11th of August, 8328, uh, 24, by age 32. He was a man who didn't let anyone stand in his way. Sir Caelan was merely a competent swordsman, and not a warrior songs are sung of. And that is it. More people are finding out about my plot. My lord, I believe Sarah Cassell to be in your custody for too long. I hereby offer to pay the ransom to secure her release. No! 100% not, she tried to kill my daughter. That will not do. More people are trying to reveal, are trying to reveal my plot. Oh dear. Everyone's after it. Everyone is trying to reveal the plot. My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. Master Rodwell is no or Maester Rodwell is no longer our Maester. Seems Jurella Glover, the spy master, is also trying to get our plot. Okay. Need a new Maester. That's possible. Sarian. We'll get him to uh, serve the court. At age 28, our brother-in-law, Craig and Condon, died after a disagreement with Emil. His father has outlived him. Unsurprisingly. Alright. We could marry our sister off, but we'll wait a little bit on that. My lord, my mission to improve your good name has been so far been a success. During your visit to the court... During a visit to the court of Master Malador of Travelton, it seems I managed to make him understand what benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. He sends his regards. Your humble Castellan, Master Cal Condon. Do I not have him improving relations in Winterfell? I do. He has failed miserably. Yeah, he has definitely failed miserably in his task. Oh wait, no, he's overseeing the realm. We have someone else doing the diplomatic relations. Oh, I see. I see. Do you want to go out carousing? Uh, oh, I need to wait like another seven months. So it's July. Fine, we'll wait till July and then go carousing with them. At age 76, your grandmother, Mage Mormon, died a natural death. A representative from the Iron Bank of Bravos is here, reminding me of that loan I took. I have the money right here. Surprisingly, actually, isn't it? And with that, I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.